here. So just you two in here building all these. Yeah. So you built all our blowers, yeah, both you two. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Take to the I bought 17 right now, and then we got another 13 waiting for us. Oh, yeah. fuck. So 30? Order, right? Yeah, pretty well 30, yeah. yeah. So you have the uh, 80 inch? 80 inch, yeah. 80 yeah, inch majority, and then uh, 392s. Really? So we're taking the bulk of them this year, and then the rest next year. We were supposed to take them all in one shot, but it didn't go, like expansion didn't go the way we wanted it to. So 17 for this year. Who knows, we might grab another three to five if we expand a little bit more than I'm thinking. But we didn't need the whole 30, so we saved the rest to get next year. Oh, yeah, yeah. Great, man. that's awesome. Um, Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, man, way up north. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wish I would've knew, I would've loved to bring these guys some hoodies, man. Yeah, some yeah. Hoodies. The I, I could, show, I could yeah. always ship them down, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're yeah. good. Well, I'm gonna be meeting them next week, so I'll pick them up. Yeah, 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 yeah. okay, there we go. Yeah, we're gonna there be, we go. I'm going out. So Stefano's doing a lot of um, a lot of videos and that. You do a lot of the uh, A lot of YouTube videos, videos yeah. So yeah, yeah. Knows a lot of the new snow guys. And it's good that we have more people like him recognizing Cyclone Blower. It's a better fucking blower. Because everybody's going Norman and Billadu and Agri Tricks or Agri Metal. The cheaper blowers. The cheaper blowers. And then Pronovos is uh, allegedly, from what everyone's saying in the community, is hey, they're too hard to get. They're too hard to get. They all called me right away when I put my video up of me getting my 20 blowers a couple months ago. And they said, How the hell did you get your hands on all those? <laughs> people were asking me to buy them. Yeah, I know. And it's I'm crazy. like, That's, I, why I, that's why I want to work for Pronovo. Because they're not doing their fucking job. What, are we gonna get 90s again, or did they change the design? They're changing the design a little on the 92. We'll see what they're gonna do. With it. They didn't change it too much. House, I only saw one. I meant to take pictures of it. So they're gonna they're gonna change the design a little bit. You were saying a little that. bit, yeah, but not as much. They had a prototype two years ago. I tried one of their prototypes out. It was more like the 80, 80 inch, like that Pronovo style, like, like the a, bolt on hitch and like yeah, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. All our 80s are bolt on. They're all bolt yeah, on. Yeah, all the 80s are. Yeah. Why is that? It's I funny, like I don't know. no it's idea. Just, it's just the way they want them. I know, but like you put the 92 beside the 80, and the 92 integrity-wise looks like a tiger tank. You, you can't compare them. Like it looks like for and only 12 inches though, and difference. It's nope. twice the blower. It's, it's twice you, you, the blower. Yeah, twice. You, so, you twice. Can't compare them. <laughs> we were walking around the yard, so we looked at our first edition blowers we built. So Chad's been here since day one. Yeah, since the first one. Yeah. yeah. Since the first Frankenstein, yeah. no, I'm not into. Or the first cyclone, first cyclone, yeah. dude. Now you, you did probably some of the first ones had those narrow necks on them. Remember yeah. those? Yeah, we had those. To widen them. We did all those. Once we uh, widened them, everything changed. Yeah. Like that was the model. That's we got it. I could remember running it out in the field in front of your house there. You'd yeah. make it a foot, and it would stall. Then as soon as we widened them up, you yeah. shoot it a hundred feet. Yeah, 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 a big difference. Yeah. So uh, I was showing them the blowers of Capitol the other day, and like. This seven-year-old, eight-year blower is like fucking not rusted. They never needed any maintenance uh, besides the greasing them up. That galvanizing thing was a smart trade right, for me to start with that. Yeah. That was smart. Because we're yeah. painting. I got... Did you get all galvanized? All galvanized. Every single one Very of them. Smart. And then I got just my 92s with wings. I got a couple older Pronovo Cyclones that are about three years old, 80-inch with wings and uh, are they hydraulic wings yes, or fixed uh, hydraulic and then all the new ones i got that are 80s are fixed and then i got 192 with hydraulic wings all stainless steel edges on all of them and like uh, these 80s are good but that 92 it's like that's mind-blowing it, it is it is it's just the integrity is like night and day it's funny that's what and everybody like, instead said of having shows. like we've always talked about instead of having the the the, the bolt on hitches put an extra bolt so if you had to have it up or down yeah. on your hip, I, I, I'm really disappointed that they didn't put the extra holes because you did that in the earlier days. Yeah. You put the extra holes, right? Did you not? When you uh, were I'm, Frankenstein, I'm, did you not? You had the holes when I was looking at your shop. You had holes for, for different settings if you wanted to go... I do on the 92 inch, but never on the 80 inch. No, I understand that, but still, I, I don't even think it's an option on the new 92s, is it? I haven't uh, seen one. We haven't done them since... Last I year. I... I, I I saw one fast, but I didn't get a chance to really, like I say, I was going to, I, was, well, I saw one fast, I should have done my camera with me, it's too bad, because I can't recall if the hitch was, uh, I'm pretty sure the hitch was bolt-on, and they had a cylinder in there to change the tip. Oh. So on your top link there, there's a cylinder, so you can actually lean the blower back when you're running on gravel, and then you can pull it tight for when you're on asphalt. That's a pretty That's clever like, idea. Yeah, for That's sure. Like, yeah. Yeah, just like that, you know. So what's the process here? You guys are basically just uh, doing like the fan aspect, like pretty much the pattern, or are you doing from start to finish? Basically parts are coming in on crates. 
and get loaded on the shelves. Right now, uh, they're building the barrels. So that's the first assembly is to do the barrel assembly. Yeah. And then from there, Curtis is usually finishing up. You got nothing on the finish right now. None of the boxes going on. You're oh, working yeah, on the finish the last one. You have a load of gal going, 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 going out tomorrow. Yeah. So you're, you got your 10 up. ready to yeah. go. Yeah. So that's it. So the parts are coming in. So the, this is kind of, that's how, so that's your first step on building. The first step one is to get it to this point. And yeah. then you're putting it into the frame, right? You're putting the ribs on yeah. it. Yeah. And then the box comes into place. The assembly goes into the box. Yeah. And then we tack it up and then we do the finished welding here. So just you two in here building all these. Yeah. So you built all our blowers, yeah, both you two. Yeah. Dude, Dude, all of yours yeah, for sure. Yeah, man, yeah. I got to give you guys a VIP tour coming back home. Like, what the hell? I would have thought that it was made in Montreal or Quebec, wherever Pronovost is. Sorry. No. No. no that's we, have a little, we have a tiny crew, that's for sure. <laughs> Could you use one more hand or are you guys good? For assembly, we have an extra guy. Okay. You need three solid guys here to make, make it work. So three solid guys, you can keep the wheels on the wagon. Yeah. And that's 10 blowers a week. So it's pretty much like the starting point is right here. Yeah. Where's the starting point? Be that pallet. Yeah, well, they all come in the boxes like so that. So yeah, so parts are coming. So Pronovo ships us parts. There's an example of some of the parts that come in. When did they deliver? A couple days ago? Did no, they do it last uh, week? Last week, yeah. They got everything you needed in there? Yeah. So Pronovo does some, some, like this is something that they'll make in St. Stit. So they'll make that in St. Stit? Right and at it, the warehouse? Yeah, certain parts they do at St. Sit. In other parts, they're actually having another metal company just cut and send to us on pallet. Is this pieces of the box? That is pieces of the box. Yeah, that's a box and a side plate. And then the bottom edges. So the bottom edges gets, that's another. So these are part of the bottom assemblies. Then we can take a quick walk up to the sheds. Yeah, man, show show me it all, boys. This is crazy. So these are no, these are all ready to go into the bottom of the box. Yeah, yeah. So these are what? What do you got? Four? Two two parts on there? Yeah. Yeah. So two parts. So that's step one. This is the bottom. Sorry. That's your cutting edge. Yeah, that's really. Wow. Then you're cutting edge with bolts. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I see it. I see it. Wow, that is brilliant. So Chad, let me get it right, Chad. Yeah, I'm Chad. Curtis. Curtis. My name's Stefano. And, uh, yeah, so then here's the back doors. They did a good job on improving the back doors. They stamp it now. It gives the door a little more strength. So this wow. is a flat piece of steel that's pressed. Yeah. And you won't get that at a regular shop. So that's done at Pronovo's shop. Wow. Um, and then how they yeah, we've the... seen the reinforced doors on the new ones because we've seen that's pretty much something new that they've done the last couple of years. Are all these... Yeah, they cut the cycle. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, I love that. Is, are they all like that now? That's just this a wear plate. Been. Yeah. So this is a hard to steal wear plate. Pronovo doesn't... That's um, where your rubber but, paddles would But they're not promoting all of their little arm. things that they do better. Like people don't even know there's a patent on the blower when there's a deflector. And that's the most important detail. They don't advertise nothing about it. People don't know the reason why our blowers work better is because of the deflector on the door. You know what? Uh, Pronovo Cyclone has so much potential and it makes me frustrated because a lot of the guys in the model now are all Norman, 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 Norman. There's the Galvey set. So we do the assembly. The Galvey's come back oh, here. Oh my God. And then we do the assembly after. I got to go check those out. Are we going here first or over there next? Yeah, here, we'll, we'll go right here. here. We'll save that till the end. Wow. Metal parts coming in. This is an 80 inch right here. Yeah. yeah. So this is what's going in. So this gets shipped over to the galvanizing and the whole blower is dipped in a hot vat of galvanized. Mm -hmm. Right? And those are, so those are projects there that are ready to be built. Yeah. Those are more options. Right? Those are all of our parts that we start to build. So that you can keep building more. How many of you guys pumping out on average, like, like completely done? It take me six, seven days to pump out the tent. 10 of them and, yeah. and, and, and basically a week. Yeah. We're kind of doing it. That's, that's awesome, boys. That's awesome. And it, who's doing more what? Who's on the welder more? Are you, I presume? Well, I'm Both? more of a fitter and he's more of a he finishes. This is Curtis's fault. Oh, you're the finisher, <laughs> eh? That's awesome. Sexy yeah, we got to see. Well, look, look at, at this. Nice welds on, I, need, right? I need to get yeah, some detail on nice this right side. here. Jesus Christ, boys. The work is incredible. All of that stuff, like that's what I told her, Maria. I said, Stefan is the kind of guy that's in communication with a lot of these upcoming guys. They're all asking me for advice, and they, as soon as my Pronovos video went up, they they all said, "Get me a cyclone, get me a cyclone, yeah. get me a cyclone." 
And I'm like, man, there's nothing I could do. I ain't a dealer. <laughs> and so I told him to call people that are local to them. Yeah. And no, the dealers can't even get them. So what's the, where's the bottleneck here? What's the issue? 30 blowers sitting in our yard. Why are they here at this time of the year? It's October. Yeah. I know they should be out right now. They should be in somebody's yard, like the customers, right? They should be in the customers' yard, not ours. I think you got to make a trip, knock on some doors. I'm not hired yet. I like to think <laughs> when I get hired, I'll no. I'm saying, I'm saying, knock on their doors. Yeah, we have thirty blowers waiting to waiting to go to. You know what? I'm still waiting on my other thirteen, so this might be a good round of them. I don't know. They could be. I don't know. I, I, I only got 17 and we're still waiting for 13 more. For this year? Yeah. They still haven't came yet. Oh, they're going to deliver all your blowers this year? They should and then they're going to sit. Oh, okay. That was kind of... Or you get them next year if you want. Um, possibly next year they might deliver them, but they, they were saying they were going to bring them down this year. Okay, so you guys you guys get all the prefabricated kind of parts, right? You weld them all together, right? Yeah. You bring them to here last in the shed. Yeah. That's when they're completely welded. Yes. Like pretty much the frame of them. Yeah. And then what's next after that? They get shipped for galvanizing. Yeah, and then they'll come back and get assembled to this. And then they come back to get assembled here. And what do you guys do? You put the auger in, you put the bolt on in, or do they do that they, down there? They put everything. You put all thing, this? The only thing they put on is the chute here. And that's because they get scratched and dented right when they're here, like the truck and the chutes back and forth. Yeah. So they just put them on there. They put the chutes on last? Yeah. We looked through all of our units we got and they were prestigious. Like I've never seen a punctual company like that send equipment and everything be perfect. Like there was really no flaws at all. They sent the box of hydraulics right on top here. We had to set that up. We cut, measured our PTO and we were off to the races. We were done. Perfect. Good to go. But I mean, I really look close at these blowers when they were completed getting this round that I just got a couple months ago. And you know, the, the detail is incredible. Uh, it's it's honestly admirable. You guys do great work, man. Yeah, you should be proud. Honestly. It means a lot. No, no, you should be really proud. Says, uh... No, dude, you have no idea. Yeah. You guys are building the best blowers in the industry. You guys realize that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I hope you do, yeah, but yeah, I don't think you guys are. get enough credit because yeah. I don't know if Jim told you any of the history with our company, but I started with Pronovos, sold, got out of Pronovos, went to all Normans last year, 22 brand new Normans, just to realize that it wasn't the blower. And now I'm going all back to Cyclone. So it just That's, goes to show you, right? You, what do you do with your Normans? Face them out? S selling them Sell slowly. Them I'm even them. taking little bits of hits on them because yeah. I'm telling you right now, boys, have you guys operated the tractors? No, we're not. not, not oh my here. God. You guys are building the fucking gym. <laughs> <laughs> what a man. You gotta get these we guys. don't have time. I, try, I tried to put them in tractors. <laughs> Kurt, yeah. you've you run one, haven't you, Kurt, a little bit? Uh, he doesn't let that on. One time, but Curtis ain't letting on if he knows how to No, run. but like, honestly, seeing the performance difference in these blowers compared to other blowers, yeah. Other manufactured companies that are building, really true, like, you guys are building yeah. the best inverted blowers in the game are, are right here. They're coming out of here. And two guys doing it, it fucking says a lot. Dude. Yeah, that does says a, that says a yeah, hell of a lot, man. Crazy. I'm impressed, honestly. Well, I'm really impressed. Well, keep them coming. I'll be another 10, 15 years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 So I was saying, uh, Curtis, uh, we're going to start building your... Uh, Gas tank holders. Yeah, we, we want gonna, to start building some gas tank holders. Up on the compact tractors only good for about what eight hours. Yeah, so they're running out of fuel all the time. Yeah, too small. So, so he's made a five bracket. gallon jerry can holder for the side Just of the a little bracket. Yeah, the... yeah, bolts on the side. You got a good spot where you're bolting it on. Bolts on beautifully. Right onto. You'd one be of impressed. Yeah, I yeah. Did, I saw them right on the side of the frame, basically right on the mount plate. Yeah, on the side. And now we're doing the double barrel fuel tanks and the big rigs. Okay. So when the big rigs are out in the field, they could help the small guys. Oh, right. you guys forgot your jury can. Oh, you didn't fill it up. You right. fucked up. No problem. We got two in the holster right. ready to go. Right. Here's all the augers right here, eh? Yeah, that's all the augers. So this was a big part of the design right here, eh, Jim? Yeah. Seeing it all just exposed like this, the way you curved it, right? Yeah, that's right. Even having that extra bend in there gives when a little we, bit more When flow. we were doing them, though, we would put our things right out here. So that gives you more support, right? I think it was, I think it was better when they were smaller and they didn't come back onto here. Yeah. Right? That's I like that did. better because they were right on the corner. Because you can get a little bit of ice buildup in here. There's always like, that's why being an operator and a designer helps you see the difference. Yeah. Like, you, have this, you know, you got to put the hours in on the machine. Well, we've come works. a long way from the very first one. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's amazing to see that you guys have been a part of that. Yeah. Awesome, boys. Well, thank you for showing me everything. Yeah. We missed we missed anything else, or that's pretty well it. Yeah, it's, that's amazing. We load well, them up, there. and then we do the shipping, and then he assembles them here. It just blows my mind that they they get built here, then they go get dipped, and then they come back. What the hell? It just kind of doesn't make sense. You know, they get dipped in Montreal. Yeah, I know. Only a few places they'll do galvanize. But then when they dip them, they bring them back here to do the small, like, do little fine details, right? They do assembly. Yeah, but, like, uh, that just... Isn't that them. so much extra trucking? Yeah. Why would... It's not bad for you, but, like, from a business standpoint, I don't I don't understand. Well, whether it left their shop to go to Galv and come back, it's no difference. They still got to go to Galv. Yeah, you're right. You're right. And how much would it be to have, like, uh, to have that as a setup? When you're moving 10 blowers at a time, it's not such a good cost. No. Right. No, I'm it saying is. I have the galvanized set up to be able to do it here. No, you can't. It's, no. It's such a dirty industry. You're lucky if you get a bylaw to even allow it. Anyway. Really? And there's really. two places, it's, Toronto and Montreal. That's the only places that galvanize. Yeah, another one outside of Quebec City, but there's like nothing in between. Really? Wow. Galvanizing is, and every two weeks, the price of galvanizing is going up. Almost small surcharge, a couple, like not even a cent, but. It keeps going up. But, it, but, uh, but it's yeah, a great finish. The, it is. It's amazing. Right? And it's so much better because the paint doesn't get inside. See, this is it. Yeah. It, when you galvanize, everything's getting galvanized. Yeah, inside the right tubes. In, yeah. yeah. All everything, the tubes everything. are drilled, eh? So the galvy goes inside. It's not just a su superficial outside coating. Every tube is galvy goes in and, and, and all the way to the end. Yeah, because well, that'd be the ball. That's why they, well, that's why you guys Ones put the holes in them, right? Yeah. So that it could get all the way through. Otherwise, yeah. it could explode. The that'd tubes. be a ball, it's, yeah. Because the galvy is about, what, 12, 13 degrees? Yeah. And then the gal that allows the galvy to run, run into the... Yeah, so tube. like in paint, you would get run because you're yeah. not getting inside of everything. Yeah. That yeah. fills right up. Wow. See, our old prone of used to rot out and it's always those fucking tubes from the inside. And the price point uh, from painted to galvanized isn't, a, isn't that large. It's only about 50 Fifteen hundred a blower. That's how much it is. I think it was about fifteen hundred to twelve fifty a blower. Now it's to dip them. To dip them. Difference between paint. paint it's so worth it. It's so worth it. Yeah. I mean, was it more or less for Galvin? Galvin's well, more, more, more. Yeah, more. Twelve fifty difference. I was gonna get all painted. And then I seen what my Normans look like after one season, hmm. rusted to shit, like rusted right down. Like just, you could touch so them the all. You're the only one that galvanized them, right? You're the only one galvanized The whole blower came from fixing, fixing blowers. Yep. What's wrong with the existing blowers? How can we make it better? That's why that we got so far ahead, like that gal like for seven years. And I mean, they're copied it, but nobody's making a better blower. I want to see more pro and in, in the industry, and with, man. With your due and help. Yeah, I want to see more too, because I like working. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, no, let's definitely get some other tractor parts in here too and start building. Why the fuck not? I mean, there's such a demand. This industry is growing big time, boys. Big time. It's moving quick too. It's uh, becoming popular, Jim. Really popular.